Hi, I'm Dr. Bosworth, and today we're going to talk about three magical letters if you're a ketone lover. Those letters, M, C, T. Let's tune in. Today's lesson is about the mystery and the myths behind MCT. If you are new to keto, those letters might be new to you. Even the seasoned ketone lovers have quite the misunderstanding about why medium chain triglycerides are so important. Let's start by unpacking those three letters, medium chain triglycerides. That's what MCT stands for. When you hear me say the word triglyceride, I want you to think of the word fat. If I were to draw your blood today and look at it under a microscope, any fat that I would see circulating in your blood is in the form of a triglyceride. So when I say medium chain triglycerides, what I'm really saying is medium chain fats. We measure fats as they line up in a string or a chain by how long they are. So take a look at this chart. We line up the smallest fat, which is C4, standing for four carbons in that fat chain, all the way up to C20. As you look along the bottom there, you can see that we categorized the different types of fats based on size. You have small chain triglycerides, medium chain triglycerides, and long chain triglycerides. Today, we're gonna bring home why it's so important that medium chain triglycerides have become the supplement of the year. Medium chain triglycerides fit into a very unique category of nutrients that is absorbed through your portal vein. Take a look at this image. This is a cartoon picture that shows an example of how foods are absorbed once they leave the stomach and enter the plush environment of the intestines. These little villi or carpet-like structures can absorb foods by two major processes. One is through the portal vein, and the other is through the traditional process of sorting nutrients through a lymph system. The lymph system is kind of like your safety net. If there are a toxin or any infections in the food, your lymph system is certain to catch it. Over evolution and the changes that our body has made, the portal vein protects our system by grabbing the most important nutrients needed to keep our body healthy. The portal vein is kind of dangerous. It allows nutrients into our system without being filtered or checked by the lymph system. If you look at something that shouldn't be absorbed through the portal vein, if it somehow gets into the liver, that can be the death of us. The portal vein selects very specific fats that are the quickest to turn into ketones. These fats happen to be 10 links long in those chains or less. This is medium chain triglycerides. Think of the portal vein as absorbing those VIP, very important particles. And medium chain triglycerides, as well as the small chain triglycerides, fit into the particles that are very important. Once in the portal vein, it is only centimeters away that your body delivers or ports the blood to the liver. This delivery to the liver of those fats lines them up in front of mitochondria and within minutes we can measure an increase in the ketones in your body. You see, the body over time will become very adapted at using ketones, but there's really one major place that ketones are made within our body, and that's our liver. Whenever those fats line up in front of the mitochondria in your liver, you'll have ketones circulating in minutes. So what's the big deal? Why are MCT supplements so valuable when you're on a ketogenic diet? It's the speed. If you put in the fats that slip through that portal vein, they don't wait in the lymph system for two to three hours getting sorted and checked to make sure that they're safe. Instead, they zip to the front of the line and into the liver. Within minutes, you've got ketones. If you've ever fallen off the ketogenic wagon and time went by knowing that you felt better when you were in ketosis, but you just didn't have the strength to jump through those hoops and get back onto the bandwagon, MCTs might be your favorite little trick. There are really three ways that you can rapidly make ketones if you've fallen off the ketogenic wagon. One way is to fast. Yes, you can simply stop eating and within 48 hours you'll be making ketones. I don't recommend that for most of my patients. Their systems are a little too fragile, they've been on those carbs for too long, and the shift that happens within their system when they fast can be a little dangerous when they go from carb production all the way to fasting ketosis. The second thing you can do is you can buy ketones in a can. 
Uh, this is another way to say exogenous ketones or ketones that are made in the laboratory. They've been around since the 60s and that is for another blog post. We'll talk about that a different day. The third way is to eat the very special fats that fit through the portal vein and line up in front of the mitochondria inside your liver. That results in a speedy production of ketones. Fall off the ketone wagon and want to get back on in a hurry? My recommendation is to use medium chain triglycerides. So let's go shopping. Google where to find medium chain triglycerides and I bet you'll come up with the word coconuts. The coconut industry has an incredible marketing team for connecting coconuts to medium chain triglycerides. I'm here to explain there's a little more to the story than just coconuts. Don't get me wrong, coconuts do have medium chain triglycerides in them, but it's only about 15% of the coconut fat that are the right ones. The other 85% are long chain fatty acids that end up in your lymph system and do not have the speed of delivery that those medium chain triglycerides do. So yes, we want MCTs and yes, the coconuts are known for having a few, but I think you should look at the goats. Let's look at this chart. This chart is a list of those small, medium, and long chain fatty acids again. If you notice at the level of C6, C8, and C10, I put a goat over there on the side. The reason for that is they're all related to the word capric, which is Latin for goat. The C6, C8, and C10 are labeled caproic, caprylic, and capric acid. These fatty acids are known for being in the products of a goat. Now carefully look at C12, that's called lauric acid, and that is one of the most abundant fats found in coconuts. Now the jury's still out and they're looking a lot into coconut fat and what it can do to help repair brains, to help with Alzheimer's, and to do other anti-inflammatory processes. But it is not a medium chain triglyceride. It is a long fatty acid. And just like the fats found in butter or cream, that C12 has to go through the lymph system before it ever becomes a ketone. Most MCT products put a whole bunch of C12 into their product because it's cheaper and it's easier to produce it without separating it from the really good fats such as C8 and C10. That's a lot of sciencey words. Let's cut to the chase. How do you know if you have a good MCT product? Look at the label. The label should have the C8 or C10 marked on the label. If it's got anything close to the word caproic or caprylic, you're probably safe. If you see the word C12 or lauric acid, save your money. Just go buy some coconut oil, spin it into your coffee, and call it good. It'll save you a lot of money. If you're looking at your label and you're still not quite sure, do a little test. On an empty stomach, take some MCT supplements. In 15 minutes, I want you to check your ketones, and then again at 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then the top of the hour. You should see a dramatic spike in the way your ketones are produced if indeed you have medium chain triglycerides. These little fats will slip through your portal vein, line up in front of the mitochondria in that liver, and turn into ketones within minutes. If you've struggled with absorbing fats in the past, or you have an inflamed gut, also known as irritable bowel, you may not do so well at absorbing those fats. So it might take your body 30 minutes to see that ketone spike. Other folks who have healthy gut linings should see ketones in their blood within 15 to 20 minutes. This is a sign that it's worth your money. These MCT products are very valuable for patients when I'm trying really hard to get their ketone levels up as we work on inflammatory processes within their body. I have them measure their ketones and their blood sugar to get a ratio. So boosting their ketones is a very valuable part of their treatment plan. We use MCT powders to get a better result. We're just really careful to make sure that the label says C8 or C10. I hope this was helpful and the next time you go shopping, you might wanna check out this YouTube just to remember what I said. Thanks again. If you wanna learn more about this, you can check out the book that I wrote any way you can or subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'm signing off.